Now why do that? You know what they do? They cause confusion, right? They make I and I look upon the complexion, right? But not upon the hair. You know what I'm saying? The hair. The hair is the key, my brothers and sisters. Some call it the nine ether. Some call it kinky. Some call it kingly. But the hair is the key. <laughs> Babylon can't touch for you, but like the psalm says, but they stretch forth their hand to iniquity. Let's show, let's show how they're stretching forth their hand. Whoa, yo! Stretching forth their hand to iniquity. It's the, it's the black hair shame. It's the black hair shame game. But I'm going to show you something very interesting in our graphic department. I hope they can, you know, work with this idea. I hope they feel this particular idea. I think this is, um, what's her name, one of these models and everything. Um, her hair, she's losing all her hairline. And you might hear some of the Babylon bitches talk about this. And I say Babylon because they're going on the confusion. My earthly father pointed it out in his book, The Antiquities of the Black Race. Hey, that particular work right there, we got a couple, we got, we got windows open and everything. You know, we always push it to the max, you know what I mean? Because we want to make sure that once hear the message, if they decide for or against the truth, may they not say that nobody told them. You understand that nobody told them the truth. Rastafari, I tell them the truth, all right? So um, let's see if we could bring up that picture over here. When you look at, oh, man. Well, let me just show this right here. Let's, let, let, let's uh, click this off here. And let's bring it back to our uh, original. So confusion is the European end game. My earthly father wrote in his book, this is my heavenly Abba, right? But this is my earthly father's book right here, The Antiquities of the Black Race. Now, why are the antiquities of the black race important? Because if you don't know who you are, you don't know where you're from. Now, let's point this out right here. This is what's going on right now. This is what's happened to a lot of the black women caught up in the confusion. Now, I picked this up from uh, a search that I was doing a little bit earlier. Warrior or warrior, good day. You see they're here, right? Now, in the particular article, they talk about the skin, right, the skin complexion. See, they want us to focus on skin. Remember what Satan said? Right, what the devil said in Eob and Job and that parabolic story right there that came straight from the ancients. But let's just go into this. He says, skin for skin, man will give all, right? You know, skin for skin, right? So skin for skin, right? So they say, they put us in this class and say, well, we all are black, right? But as my earthly... Um, father and, and he got that I think from my nana. My nana said, You might be my color, but you're not my kind. Notice something right here. Basically, well one is a black and white picture, but you know what Blair Underwood's complexion is like. I mean, that has been shown here, you know, and there and this is this movie I wanna check out. Right? Um it's interesting, it's not even out there though. Many ones have talked about and even the naysayers have to admit it's a very you know, it's a very good movie, you know. It's, it's a very well done movie right here. So you can see how the complexion is similar. You know, so when we say you might be my color, you're not my kind. You know, folks talk about um, the King of Kings, Emperor Selassie, I, Katamawi Haile Selassie, and they say, oh, they say, they say, he's not black. Or what, what are they talking about? He's not black because, see, they have you focusing on Skin for skin, right? Skin for skin, right? They have you focusing. Here's, here's the other picture right here. What I want to do is get a collage. There's another picture where you can see. If something strange happens when they get that particular look, you know, this is talking about the lace weave, right? These lace weaves that are causing uh, forehead cancer. And maybe you missed the news from before um, that... Uh, the perms cause fibroids. In fact, even if you look on these Babylonian products, 
And notice who these products are specifically marketed, targeting. In fact, they're even perming, what's his name, did the movie Good Here? They're even perming the, the, the young black girls to destroy even the generation that hasn't even fully come. Right? The generation that, for what? What is the reason? Well, they'll tell you a whole bunch of things, but just remember that uh, a deceived person is chiefly deceived. There's a spiritual root that's behind it. So we have to stop focusing just on complexion, so to speak, and have to focus on the real rootage. Right? When we talk about roots, isn't that what we speak about? We speak about roots. Right? Roots. What are the roots like? Right? As you can clearly see over here, right? Let's, let's bring this over. We talked about this in the part one, and we'll probably return to this particular document as we go on. But bring up, bring up the Neanderthal man. Okay, this is ancient Egypt. Because they'll try to tell us that the, the ancient Egyptians wasn't black and the Hebrews wasn't black. They'll give us a story and say, what? Hebrews making brick? What they look like? Whoa. They look like black people. They say, no, they're 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 Egyptian, but they're not African African. So they play all sort of confusion, right? All sort of cloak and dagger tricks and everything. But let's bring up this picture right here. I like that side by side right there. Hope that could be maybe the still right there. You know, because notice they're the same complexion. This is when we say you might be my color, but you're not my kind. Because when we get to the roots, you know what I mean, especially we as that, that people who in the scriptures are spoken of to be the lost sheeple, right, the lost sheeple, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, right, the lost sheep. You know what the Bible talks about? It says that his hair was, was, was white like wool. What well, they don't tell you is that in the Hebrew idiom, when it says white, it doesn't particularly mean that it was white here, as some foolish people would think. It doesn't particularly mean that he was just an old man, as some others might interpret. Though, with the ancient of days, we understand that that is a more correct interpretation. But when it says pure wool, white like wool, it's saying nine ether. In other words, white like wool refers to nine ether here. Right, or kinky and kingly hair. The hair is the really unique feature. This is why when I saw the Sotomayor video and we did our video to point that out to our people and hopefully y'all also who are so motivated and inspired will also, in fact, what I would like someone to do is to take this particular picture, one of the brothers or sisters in the art department, take this particular picture, right, and lining up with some of these ones and ones right here because you'll see the same kind of monkey business. I noticed that. The same kind of monkey business, right? The same monkey business is going on, right? I mean, I mean, look at, look at these strange faces. Look at these strange faces. As Sotomayor, he talk about it like, well, he, he, he just has a gift of, uh, a gift of wordage. You understand of word play, and I strongly advise you to check out his particular vids, um, because his vids basically they highlight, you know, they highlight um, what the scriptures say. They they give testimony, right, to the word of the scripture. So we have all this monkey business, but it's not about the so-called skin for skin. Remember that Satan on strategy, right? So we have light skin versus dark skin. We have you know, um, and the black skin, you know, if, if you are fully melanated, you understand, you are put on the very bottom, you understand, and then they have half-breeds who will go and represent your cause. You know what I'm saying? Now, when some might try to say, whoa, how does Selassie such and such and such, you, you don't even know the fullness of what you've been talking about. Don't even open up your nasty, filthy mouth against the king of kings. You understand? Let's just say that for the record. Look at his wool right there. Look at his wool right there. I mean, even look at his complexion as well. There's something mystical about his imperial majesty because, you know, although in some pictures he might appear um, lighter skin, in other pictures he appeared darker skin, which kind of shows us the divine, you know, when the melanin is activated, 
in spirit and in truth. You see what I'm saying? This is one reason why we are the children of the light. You see, but at this state of curse, our melanin is not fully activated. So you might be my color, right? But you're not my kind because you don't have that wool. You understand? I'm, I'm speaking now concerning our humanity and racially. I want you to understand this because we have a problem, so-called black people. There's a real problem going on. We have a health crisis. There's a health crisis right in our midst because the science, right, and the evidence is showing us that many black women who have been deceived and deluded and hoodwinked and bamboozled, right, are setting themselves up and their children, another generation, for the curse, right, for the curse. So you can see it right there. They say, oh, well, it makes you look more beautiful because they don't recognize that their head is not right. You see, ones haven't gotten their head right. And part of the reason why ones haven't gotten their head right is because many of the pastors, preachers, and teachers haven't focused on the truth, right? The half of the story has not been told. And the only ones that have fully focused on that particular truth is I and I, the Rastafari, right? Because the king is the head. The king of kings is the head. You see what I'm saying? But when you have a lost people, you know what I mean? The Bible already tells us what will be the fate of many careless, you know what I'm saying, many careless Ethiopians and careless Israelites and lost sheep, you understand, know will go down with Babylon because they will be either unwilling, right, or unable, right, but mostly it's because they have not made their wills obedient. So in spite of, it's like, my sister says, knowing what you know, you continue to do what you do. In other words, in spite of what they're knowing, they know the perms, cause fibroids, right? And then we wonder why all this dis-ease, right? All this dis-ease, you know, both dis-ease, spiritual dis-ease, psychological dis-ease, and physical dis-ease. And, 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 and here we go right here. All right, let's let's let, let's tight. Let's get a tight shot of this right here. All right, it's like Blair Underwood, right, in the character of Yeshua, is looking on the Neanderthal and saying, "You know what? You might be my color, but you are not my kind." And I will add to that, and it's not just that this one is not our kind, right? They are not very kind either. Is there a connection? Right with with this with what is going on for here and this insanity that we see and that ones like Tony Sosa Mayoral videos and other videos and you go on world star hip hop and you, you know they have no shame right because the shame that they have is that they are ashamed of their own and they have denied the King of Kings in Christ they have denied the root. Right? And a tree without a root cannot bear good fruits. 